Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 103. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Alright, so we are here now for the Hyundai Genesis Coupe Tour. Uh, we've already driven the Genesis in this playthrough. Um, so we're going to be driving it again. Hopefully it will be the last time we drive it. Going to be starting off with New York Circuit, Suzuka Circuit, Maple Valley, Road Atlanta, Twin Ring Motegi, and Maple Valley. Let's get going. No. The drink command is there for me to drink. Not to fucking drown me, you cunts. <laughs> Chug or ouse. Or what? What are you going to do, Aaron? What the fuck are you going to do? Yeah, come at me. Come at me, bruv. In it. That's what I thought. Oh dear, this Hyundai's getting in the way. No. No. You spam the drink, so the more you spam it, the less I drink. Oh. There, how's that? <laughs> Taking another sip. <laughs> Come on, I'm coming through. Get out of the way, you fat bastard. Come on. Beep. Beep, beep. More dad jokes. More dad jokes. Let's go. Hey, Aaron, you've already used the threat of more dad jokes. Can't use it twice. That's cheating. Hey, look, that's the Genesis there. I like how the first track literally shows the Genesis everywhere. It's brilliant. I'm weaving. A weeble and a wobble and I might fall down on my ass. Wow. That's such a terrible dad joke. Hey, Aaron. I'm going to make a new rule in chat. No dad jokes. For this stream and this stream only, so any more dad jokes, you lose your moderator privileges. And any dad jokes after that, you get timed out. Nah, I've made it a rule. <laughs> yeah. Or what? Or what? <laughs> I win. I win, I win, I win, I win. <laughs> Celebration. I'm telling you normal jokes. See, normal jokes are fine because they're not shit. Dad jokes are deliberately terrible. My wife prefers to take the stairs, but I always take the elevator. I guess we were just raised differently. I mean, that's a borderline dad joke, so... But I'll let you get away with that. But be very careful. Be very, very careful, Aaron. Oh, shit. Maybe I should be a bit careful, too. Hmm. 
<laughs> Fuck off, you twat. Quite a nice interior in this thing. Thanks for the command. Oh my god, we're doing this again. Hi YouTube, I'm Aaron and I'm amazing and I am a Viking from Sweden and you will fear me. You will fear me, motherfucker. Fucking fight me, lads. Shit. 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 That's what she said. What's some fun ways to answer everyday questions like how's it going or what do you do? What up fuckers? That's a fun way of answering a question like that. Cause it's true, what up, fuckheads? This might actually be uh, shorter than I was expecting. Answer, I need your help from hiding me. I need your help to hide me from the state and the FBI. That's not a very interesting way of saying How's it going? Depends if it's a dad joke falling, because if it is, uh, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> the soup boss is hiding. I think the funny joke is just America in general, not just America's president. I think America as a country is a failed society, with England a very close second. It's a very much failed society. Both the U... I'm not... Yeah, England. Because I've been to other places and it's not that bad in the UK. England is just a failed society, and so is America. Wales is alright, though. It's chill. So I'm here now. This is much better. President can't even climb stairs. And let's be honest, your president shouldn't be more than retiring age. Retiring age is normally about 65 in the UK. So if you've got a president that's older than 65, that fucker should be in a nursing home. You've got a 77-year-old president, and the president before him is now 75 or something like that. Fucking Donald Trump is, like... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 
Like, unfortunately, with how our world is developing... Sure, maybe back in... The early 1800s. Maybe, like, many, many years ago. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700 years ago. When things developed so slowly, maybe listening to your older folks for wisdom made sense. But now that generations are so cha changing so much, most of what the older generation is having to put up with now doesn't make sense. Their wisdom is just nonsense at this point. Anyone above the age of, I think, 40, a lot of their stuff... Well, from 40 to 60 is about the time when people are still learning, but that's when they're getting old. No, Trump is, like, in his late... Getting to his late 70s. I think. I read somewhere he's really fucking old. Hang on, let's have a look. How old is Donald Trump? How old is Donald Dunk? <laughs> Donald Duck, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, what is this? Well, that really helps, doesn't it? 76. Yeah, so Donald Trump is 76 years old. And uh, Joe Biden... Oh, he's 80. So yeah, Joe Biden is 80 years old. Donald Trump is 76. Way too old. And do you want to know what's even funny, right? It shows how bad the American education system is when obviously a majority of people that are going to be Googling how old someone like that is is the person in their country. So most of the people Googling how old Boris Johnson is would be English people. Same for how old is Donald Trump. Most people will Google it in America. Now, for both Joe Biden and Donald Trump's Google results, it says, how old is Donald Trump's age? Which, for anyone who hasn't realized, is the most stupid and grammatically incorrect sentence I have ever heard. How old is Donald Trump's age? Yes, because Donald Trump's age has an age now. His age is only 42 years old, but Donald Trump himself is 70, 76. Like, how fucking stupid are Americans <laughs> to come up with that? And again, before I say, Oh, but I'm American! You're even, you're even so with me! That doesn't mean all Americans, that just means America as a whole. Mech, I don't think you've met hillbillies. I've never met hillbillies, but apparently my um, American accent sounds like a hillbilly accent. So, maybe I have. I've had enough with this Donald Trump and Joe Biden nonsense. I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> Now get me some Hennessy. <laughs> this is so terrible. It's such a terrible accent. I can't. <laughs> no, I I wouldn't even admit Americans are funny. Americans aren't comedically funny. Um, because um, here's the thing: America has an extremely dumbed-down sense of humor to the point that Americans will find anything funny, but actual comedy now is just too offensive to be funny. So America themselves are not a funny country. When you look at, um, even then, it's not funny. America itself as a country, as a whole, is just not funny. There are some things that just... It, it, there's a very small amount of content out there. Like, American comedians... Eh, there aren't really many. 
And most of the ones that are actually kind of funny all moved to the UK because America just didn't understand their sense of humor and didn't find them funny. So they had to go to somewhere where their comedy would be appreciated, you know, by countries that are actually funny. To be fair, though, the UK does have a very dark sense of humour. Our humour is pretty dark. But at the same time, we know where a joke is a joke. A lot of the time when people get cancelled over stupid shit, Americans take everything literally. Which means a lot of British jokes get twisted around because they take everything literally. And then Americans, when they try and do dark humor, they just say dumb shit like, I hate certain someone, and then that's supposed to be comedy, because they think that's what dark humor is, which it's not. <laughs> like, um, America really is not. That's, uh, that's not even the American snowflakes. Like, this has been a problem with America for years. Like, there's this show, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but the whole premise of the show is, if if you've seen, um, Unlikely Scenes to See, it's part of, um, Mock the Week, I I'm not exactly, Scenes We'd Like to See, that's it. Um, it's basically a small segment on Mock the Week. Who's Ali Kater? Um... Uh, a knob. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Uh, one of my mates. Why? What's he done? Please don't tell me he s sent dick pics. That's something that I'd expect him to do. He's a weirdo. <laughs> but, um... See, again, Impractical Jokers isn't comedy. That's just mates pissing about and having fun. That's not straight-up comedy. And this, again, is where America is so wrong when it comes to comedy, because they don't know what comedy is. A prank show um, isn't straight-up comedy. It's not. It's just entertainment. If you find some of the stuff they do funny, that's fine, but that's not straight-up comedy. That's just people that piss about. That's why a lot of America doesn't understand what comedy is, and they just think, Oh, yeah, Impractical Jokers, that's a funny show. Like, by all means, I've watched Impractical Jokers. I found it funny, but that's not a comedy show. But there are, a, there are a couple of, like, American comedies that I've watched before. Um. And most of the comedy is, like, stupid puns. More than anything. They're not literal jokes. Because Americans don't know how to write jokes. So, sure, it, it, um, I mean, yeah, you can find stuff funny. I mean, I've watched cat videos that I found funny. That doesn't mean it's comedy. Um, it's a really common mistake that America as a whole makes when it comes to comedy. Um, comedy mostly has to be like... Either like a story or something that makes you laugh. It has to be scripted and made into something funny. You can't just do a prank show and say, yeah, this is a comedy show. Yeah, exactly. Like, when I go out with my mates, that doesn't mean I'm doing comedy. Even though we piss about and laugh a shit ton. I, America really is, is not a funny country. Um, and that's not to say that America, like an individual in America isn't funny. Because you can have funny individuals. But as a whole, America doesn't understand comedy. Both in the mainstream and people who watch comedies don't understand that that's not actually a comedy. You're just watching an entertainment show that has a couple of giggles in it. So, you know. But again, that's because the mainstream media doesn't understand what comedy is.
We had a show um, that was really popular in the UK called Harry Hill's You've Been Framed. I don't know if anyone's heard of You've Been Framed, but it was basically just home videos that was compiled into this sort of 30 minute video on ITV. Um, yeah, but I'm sort of arguing your point you said before. You sort of changed your point, Fallen. So, I'm still arguing the original point. I'm not saying um, that people you find funny aren't funny. I'm just saying... In general, America doesn't understand comedy. Going back to your original point saying, we are the most funny but most grammatically incorrect people you'll ever meet. Whereas, that's a lie. <laughs> Hillbillies aren't even funny. They just sound like morons. It's just a, like... If you're saying, like, funny... As in, like, hat that's funny because it's embarrassing to the human race, then yeah, maybe. I uh, suppose. Dumb shit doesn't always mean funny shit, though. I've seen someone run into traffic, get hit by a car. That's not funny, but that's definitely dumb shit, you know. <laughs> I've witnessed someone stick a firecracker up their ass. <laughs> okay, that's funny shit. <laughs> and dumb. <laughs> but, yeah. Do you know what America needs more of? Especially on Netflix. They need to show more British comedy shows. Because there is not enough... Like, I've seen American Netflix. It's fucking terrible. Some of the comedians on there are just, like... Terrible. And some of them have even seeped onto British Netflix. Alright, here we go. Yeah, so, like... Obviously, I'm not using, like, Netflix as my only reference point. I have seen many American comedies. I mean, when you look on, like, stuff like TikTok... The amount of American stuff that gets recommended on TikTok because America is just so much more not popular. No, TikTok is more popular in America. So, have you ever tried to ride a hog? No. It's like a fat pig, isn't it? It's like a wild pig. Bacon. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not crazy enough. I know that's something that Americans would do. Cause they do dumb shit. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't um I haven't ridden a pig before. I've not got Minecraft up in this bitch. When the wheels come down When the wheels touch ground See, Jack Whitehall is funny, but he's one of the more Americanized comedians. So, he's a, a lot better for an American to understand because he doesn't go into the dark humor stuff. Um, he does a lot of play on words and stuff like that. So, when it does come to Jack Whitehall's comedy, both Americans and Brits can understand it. And he's actually funny. So, yes. Gabrielle Iglesias. No. He's not. He has funny moments, but... It's... I couldn't sit and watch one of his comedy specials, because I'd have to sit and sift through an hour of it to find the really funny moments. Have you watched someone like Jimmy Carr? Or James A. Caster, or Greg, 
Greg Davies. I, I will show you some clips of fucking Jimmy Carr. You, we can fight. Granted, I'm not saying f that Fluffy isn't, like, completely dead like the rest of American comedy. There are funny moments, but a majority of his jokes just aren't amazing. Like, you know how YouTube Shorts cuts out the good jokes? The ones that you find on YouTube Shorts are brilliant. But the only reason you find them are because they're actually funny and people like them. You know, the ones that actually get shown on For You pages a lot more often are the ones that are actually funny. Because more people like them because it's not just weird jokes twisted around to suit Americans. Like, <laughs> there are YouTube videos, right, on Jimmy Carr's YouTube channel where he's got like entire shows. You watch one of them, you'll be laughing for over an hour, guaranteed. As long as you, when you watch it, you realise everything is a joke and isn't literal. Which is kind of hard for Americans to do because, again, they take everything literally. So they need much more dumbed down comedy. But as long as you watch it and you're like, this is only a joke. Ha! <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Jimmy Carr. He's a comedian. Like an actual comedian. He's well known all across Europe. Because he's a comedian. <laughs> yes, we're fallen. You're not a typical American. Clearly. But 90% of America does take things literally. That's why you can't say things on the internet without getting cancelled. Because 90% of Americans take things too literally. Even Jimmy Carr did a, um... What's it called? He made a joke. In his Christmas special. His, like, 2021 Christmas special. Comedy. Um, and he did a joke and got absolutely cancelled for it. Because people thought that his joke was real and that he actually does that. Like, he mentions about, like, all sorts of things. He's mentioned about, like, Nazis and the Holocaust and stuff like that before. No one's ever cared about that. But as soon as they mention about, like, one group of people, completely got cancelled over it. The thing is, if you were to watch his special, you probably wouldn't be able to find the joke that you got cancelled on. Because it's so funny and clearly a joke that only Americans would find it serious. <laughs> it was a lot of Americans that got pissed off with that joke. And obviously people are that group because they thought Jimmy Carr hated them and wanted to kill him. Which was fucking stupid. There's something funny that people don't realize. What? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, Fallen. Jimmy Carr. Spelt with two R's. <laughs> I've, I've seen that rumor. But nobody really talks about it so I don't know how true it was I don't know whether it's just a fake thing on the internet that someone tried to spread around because I've not seen it from like an official source like an official documentary and I've watched quite a few like World War 2 documentaries and stuff about Hitler and that 
Because I, surprisingly, as much as I fucking hate history, I absolutely love, um, sort of researching on Norse and Greek mythology, and also, um, what's it called? World War One and World War Two. Fucking love that history. Any history lesson that involved World War One or World War Two, I was fucking mesmerized by it. I just find World War One and World War Two interesting. It, uh, it was obviously a world war, but you know. Uh, I'll have a look at the videos in a minute, and I'll have a drink in a minute as well. Fallen. Do 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 do. All this disillusion. <laughs> yeah, like Again, there are some Americans that are funny. But America as a whole, their view like you got to think there are like I think there's like 500 million Americans. So you think if you've got a very large majority of Americans that have the wrong viewpoint on what comedy is, then clearly that 480 million of them are going to be incorrect. And that, as a majority, makes pretty much the whole of America wrong. Mainstream America. You know. Same with America and their, um... Why are you spamming, mentioning me? I said I will check your thing in a minute. I can't check it now. I'm in a race. Chillax. What, that that clip is up to 86 views. Nice. I like to play with my penis. Such a good one. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All this disillusion. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh.